we come to certainly one of the high points of my life to get to meet this man, our Career Achievement Award winner, Glenn Thomas. We put our heads together and figured out that when I saw my first Laserium show in New York City at the Hayden Planetarium in 1976, it was probably Glenn at the controls. So I can say, I owe it all to you, Glenn. Come on up and get your Career Achievement Award, Glenn. <coughs> Say a few words, Ben. I felt old before I came here. After spending two days with you, I absolutely feel ancient. <laughs> Yesterday, one of you said, you're not old, you're historic. <laughs> that, that made me feel good, but it was quite hilarious. Tim Walsh, it was great to meet you in person. I heard that you're also historic. <laughs> Yesterday, I saw and heard and learned things that I had never knew were, were possible. <coughs> Number one, I saw the greatest laser projectors in the world made by Michael Solinger. Their white light and the range of their colors and perfect uniformity was absolutely amazing. Michael, your projectors are spectacular. Second, I learned that beam performances could be just as subtle and artistic as scanning performances. I think some of you probably saw me on my knee bowing to Marcus. <laughs> Amazing artist, Marcus. Third, Chris Short continued to impress me with his pursuit of scanned abstract imagery. To see the live performance console that he developed with Andrew Kilpatrick was exciting as well as baffling. What I'm baffled about is that in 2018, you're still trying to build a laser-like synthesizer that you can play live shows on, like the one Laserium built 42 years ago. <laughs> well, I think we've lost an art form, and that art form used to exist with Laserium. It has always been my dream that someday, someone will build a live performance laser-like system that only equals, not only equals laserariums, but takes laser art to the highest level possible. Tonight, I also want to say, God bless Ivan Dreyer, as he watches this convention from heaven. I want to thank you for inviting me to this convention, for your hospitality, and for recognizing my time at Laserium with this incredible award. It was a great honor to be nominated alongside such fantastic people as Alberto Kellner and Paul McCloskey. Gentlemen, I don't know you personally, but I wish you the very best of everything, and I'm sure that you both deserve this award more than I do. What in the world am I doing here? About six months ago, I was totally stunned to get an email saying that I had been nominated for a Nilda Award by none other than Doug McCullough, my arch nemesis from the 1970s. <laughs> you know, it's pretty much Doug's fault that I'm here tonight. First, his company, ABI, booted me and Laserium out of our awesome gig at the Hayden Planetarium in New York City. Second, that booting got me sent to Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles where I then spent the next 26 happy years performing live laserium shows for stone crowds that absolutely loved it. <laughs> Third, out of the blue, I have no idea what Doug was thinking, he submitted a beautifully written Ilda Award nomination for me. 
Thank you very much, Doug. I'm very sure that I'm here today because of you. And because of Patrick Murphy, who found and shared my six-minute documentary film and my small story about the greatest job on Earth. Thank you, Patrick. Last but not least, I know that I'm here today because all of you were kind enough to vote for an ancient, old, I mean historic, lazy question from the 1970s. To be included in your very distinguished list of previous winners is a great honor and one of the best of my life. My family and I will be forever thankful to you all. I have one more historic thing to say. Lays on, and may the force be with you. Oh.